Hey guys, this is the Be Your Hero Gaming Channel, where we talk about all things gaming and how you can be a hero in your real lives, uh, as well as in your games. Um, some thoughts that have been on my mind lately I wanted to talk about here for just a few minutes, and hopefully this can help somebody uh, out there who's, who's uh, looking for some gaming assistance. Um, gaming burnout. That's something probably everybody's experienced that's uh, played board games or role-playing games or card games or video games, any kind of games. I'm sure you've gotten to a point where you kind of feel burned out. In fact, I've seen a lot of videos um, posted on YouTube and uh, haven't really watched any of them, but uh, that kind of gave me the idea for the video was seeing these other videos. But um, I was thinking a lot about this just because um, I just got back from Gen Con and might have gone a little bit overboard on the games that I bought there. I got a whole bunch of stuff over here that maybe I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, a lot of it is due to the fact that I gave in and bought some of those mystery boxes. I don't know, you guys might think I'm crazy. My kids thought I was crazy. Like, Dad, don't buy those. You do not need those games. They're not going to fit in our bags. Don't buy them. Um, and uh, the guy sold me, and so I bought a couple of those mystery boxes and got a whole ton of games, uh, some which seem kind of cool, some which seems not so cool, but... Uh, uh, we'll probably go through them all and just kind of check them out. But uh, gaming burnout. Why does it happen and what do we do about it? Okay. I've come up with two reasons as I was thinking about this uh, over the past week on why we get burnt out with our games because it's happened to me before and I'm sure it's happened to you guys too um, where we just feel like we've lost the spark, lost the enthusiasm, the excitement that we used to have um, for our games and we want to get that back. And the good news is you can there is a way to get it back, and let's talk about that. So again, two reasons what, that I thought of why this happens, and reason number one um, is because we focus too much on one type of a game and don't really broaden our horizons to try different kinds of games. And uh, let me give you an example of this. So I really enjoy campaign games, big narrative-driven story games, and that's kind of what got me into the board gaming hobby. I was trying to look for, um, something else to draw some of my boys away from video games and get people around the table, looking each other in the eye, uh, communicating, problem solving, and working together face to face rather than staring at a screen. So that's what got me into board games and especially the campaign games really uh, sparked my interest uh, as well as my boys. They really, they really thought those were cool. The girls, not so much. The girls, there's other games that they play, but they play. Um, and uh, so we started playing these big campaign games and, and we got neck deep in some of them. We devoted a ton of hours to them. And I think right now, uh, I think we're in the middle of two, maybe three campaigns, which is crazy. And we're trying to, to pound through those to get those over with so we can move on. And we kind of got to the point where we just thought, man, putting a lot of hours into these campaign games and just really feeling like we're losing steam. We're not as excited about these as we were when we first started playing. Well, um, one thing we did when we went to Gen Con is we bought a couple of games like these from the All Play booth. You guys might have seen these. These are little tiny games um, and a little more, uh, it does say seven and older and eight or, and, and older. So these games are kind of a little bit more youth driven, not for the older crowd. Uh, but the cool thing is they fit in this tiny box and they're really easy to set up and really fast to play. And it kind of renewed my spark for gaming to, we actually, we got these the first day we were there and played these at the hotel. And it was just fun. We went back to the hotel, me and my boys, and we played through these games a couple of times. You're essentially just uh, rolling dice, trying to catch fish. Um, there's a little bit of strategy involved, a little bit of secret bidding as you turn the dice over, how many dice you're going you're gonna to bid to catch the fish. Uh, this game, you're just... Uh, marching your mountain goats up the mountain and who's over the top, you kick them off and start scoring points until somebody else gets up there and knocks you off. Um, you're just trying to match up uh, these different uh, numbers here to march up the different columns and score points. So very simple. In fact, I think these on their, uh, uh, in their brochure said one minute to teach. It was a little bit longer than that to teach them, but it was really refreshing to get these easy games out and play through them a couple of times. Uh, and... It just what didn't take much to get these to the table and play and have a good time. So uh, when we got home, we jumped it back into one of our campaigns and we were kind of re-excited about that. And we said, let's get going on this campaign. Let's finish this thing up so we can move on to some of the other games. So try playing something different. If you're uh, using collectible card games, try to just get some fun board games to the table. If you're doing miniatures games, um, take a painting break. Just take a break from painting 
and play something else. Uh, and, and I think that will, will revitalize your excitement that you used to have for that other game. Now, that's the minor reason, um, and that's a really easy fix. The second thing I think is more important, and this is something else that was on my mind because you might have noticed I haven't done a lot of videos in a while, and the reason for that is because I picked up some extra shifts at work, and I've been working a lot more, and uh, by the time I get home, I'm just thinking, to make a video? Like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that right now. So um, between working extra shifts, uh, working on some repairs around the house and in the yard and things like that, I haven't had a lot of time to make some videos. But because of that, I just started, had this growing itch to play some games. And I knew that I was going to go to Gen Con. So I felt okay about taking some time to work, do some home repairs and things like that. And it has really generated some renewed excitement for me in games. Um, and so, again, if you feel like you've tried different games and you've tried to move on to a different theme or a different genre of game, and you still feel like, I don't know, I just really don't have that excitement that I used to have for my games, try working on your personal life instead of on your gaming life. Um, maybe you're already doing that. Find something else that you can do to make yourself a hero. Uh, again, we really want to focus on this channel being a hero as number one and playing games to have fun as a break from that. And I really felt like putting in all those extra shifts and working hard, my kids kept being like, Dad, you're going to work again? Like, let's play a game. You're going to work? And uh, I had to, I felt kind of bad that, yep, I'm going to work again. Uh, but after working a lot, putting a lot of hours in, I felt like, man, I really want to take a break and do something fun. And I really felt like that desire to take a break from work was renewed and we played some games the past couple of days, had a really good time, back to work tomorrow, uh, back to the grind, back punching the time card. But really take some time to work on your personal life. Work on yourself and what level you can get to personally. Um, it doesn't have to be at work, it doesn't have to be at home repairs, it can be whatever you choose, whatever you feel like, this area in my life is a little bit lacking and it could be better. Remember, the games are going to get put away. They're going to get put back on the shelf. Everything we do in the games and we succeed in those games is artificial. It's imaginary and it's fun, but it's in the, at the end of the day, it's imaginary. The work that you do on your personal life will be permanent. It will affect you today. It will affect you in the future. And the more work you can do to increase your personal level, whatever that area is that you choose, to make yourself better at that will not only make you a better human being and more effective at what you do, but it's going to rekindle that desire to take a break and have some fun and play some games. So I hope you guys, uh, again, uh, if, you get, if you get tired of one type of genre, look at switching to something else. Look at trying a different kind of a game you've never played before or never tried. Call up some friends or in your play group. Say, hey, what's a different kind of game we could play uh, that we could set up? Um, and that will really help uh, transform your excitement uh, back to that, that previous game you were playing before. Or if that's not working, what can you do in your personal life? What can you do to level yourself up and work hard uh, to work on yourself and your skills that you feel like, man, I put a lot of time in and I want to take a break and play some games. Let me just show you guys this here real quick. This is crazy. I don't even think this is even all of them. But uh, we got... Uh, we got a whole bunch of, the, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. I am crazy. Um, and we've played some of these already and we're gonna, I'm gonna do some videos on them and talk about them. Um, again, most of these, these kind of, we bought this game. Most of these kind of weird games came from the mystery box. Um, these games here, this game, mystery box, mystery box. <laughs> so we bought this one, we played this, we're about to play that. Um, a lot of really cool games that I'm excited to talk about, guys. I really hope you're playing games and having fun, but more importantly, I hope you're being a hero. You guys take care. Thanks for watching.